Hey guys, Techno here, and I want to show you what's on my ZTE Blade Z Max. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about that's on my ZTE Blade Z Max is indeed Nova Launcher Prime, and I do have the viral icon pack. So, Nova Launcher Prime lets you customize your device in so many different ways and let's go ahead and just talk about a couple of the different ways if you click on the desktop here in the settings you can choose your desktop grid which you can change the size and the way that widgets are laid out and stuff and you can have like four or five or six rows and three four and five rows and then you can choose your icon layout size label you can change the color the shadow you can have a single line, you can have a condensed font, you can change your icon size like I said, make them larger and smaller. Um, go back here, you can change the padding of your width of your icons. I have none, but you can change it to small, medium, or large. Uh, also, you can change the height padding, same way, small, medium, or large. You can have the persistent search bar at the top if you want. You can change your search bar style. So I have the Google uh, Pill one right here. This is the one I use. But you also have all these other different kind of logos and different kind of styles that you can change. And um, so like I said, you can customize your device in a multitude of ways. You can also change the scroll effect. And we'll give you little previews of the different scroll effects that you can choose from. And there's more all kinds of them so you get the idea you can change your scroll effect I'm just gonna keep mine on simple because that's the way I like it and then go back to done wallpaper scrolling you can choose to have your wallpaper scrolling on or off and you can force all wallpapers to scroll or you can change it reverse so it, when you go one way the, the wallpaper scrolls the other way and so that's a nice feature. Like I said, you can customize just about everything. You can turn on infinite scroll. You can have the page indicator and the indicator color. So you can change the way the little uh, dots down there appear. You can add icon to your home screen. Automatically add newly installed apps to your desktop. And it also says note Play Store settings. You should disable the Play Store add icons to home screen settings to prevent the Play Store from adding shortcuts to other launchers desk and desktops. So, you can overlap your widget, right? So with Nova Launcher, you can have two widgets sitting on top of each other um, and you can overlap when you're placing them. You can lock your desktop to prevent changes to the desktop and you can show shadows at the top or the bottom of the screen, uh, most noticeable on the light wallpapers and that's all just underneath of the desktop. If you go to app drawers and widgets, you can change your app drawer grid, same way you can your home screen grid. Uh, you can do change your icon layout, size and label, same way. You can choose how you scroll, either vertical or horizontal, or you can have a list. You can also choose to have a card background you can swipe to open, so if you swipe up on the dock, it'll bring up the app drawer. Swipe down and it'll close it. You can change the background of your app drawer, so you can change it to any different color. And if you click on more here, you can choose a custom color for your app drawer. Just all kinds of stuff, guys. If you want to know more about it, or if you want me to do a full review on it, let me know and I'll do a full review on it. But So, I mean, just all kinds of different options and things you can do with Nova Launcher Prime. Like I said, I do have the Google Pill widget right here. Uh, this is the Zedge, which is on my phone, and this is their clock widget. So if you click on the clock widget, it'll bring up this little thing here, and it'll say rate the app. I'll say, don't ask me again. And then you have all these different clock widgets you can choose from, and there's more in the store. Uh, and all of these are free to download. You don't have to pay for any of them. And it's really simple to change them. Let's say I want to change it to, uh, let's see here, which one would I like? Well, just for time's sake, let's say that I want the wood panel. So I click on the wood panel, click the little button right there, 
go back home and now I've got the wood panel as my clock widget. So if you don't know about Zedge, that's this app right here. Zedge, and we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look at it and we'll go over it a little bit. So Zedge, I have to close that. Zedge is ad based, but you can usually just get out of them really easy. And Zedge offers wallpapers, live wallpapers, ringtones, notifications, icons, widgets, games, keyboards, and you can even upload your own content, save content, you can change your settings and things. We're not going to go over the settings, but if you're looking for wallpapers, you can have your featured wallpapers that'll show up and that's what these are. These are all just featured wallpapers. And what's really cool about it is if you click on a wallpaper that you like and then tap on it again, it'll give you that full screen view so you know what it's going to look like on your device. You click exit, you can swipe to the left or to the right and it'll give you similar type wallpapers and that's a really nice feature and there's one of those ads that come up and then you just click the little X to get out of it and it takes you back here. Also you can search for wallpapers if you have something that you want to search for and if you tap on this little bar here you can choose whether it shows fe uh, featured, recent, or the most popular. So let's go to popular and now it's going to show me just the most popular wallpapers that people download you know based upon their statistics or whatever and in the discover tab over here you can have here's popular searches different colors that you can choose from so if you like green you can click on this one here and it's going to bring up a whole bunch of different green wallpapers and you can choose to add save or whatever you want to do with those to your device and a whole bunch of different categories here i'll go slow so you can see them all just tons and tons of different wallpapers. By my opinion, Zedge is by far the best wallpaper app you can get. It also offers live wallpapers, ringtones, and we'll jump into ringtones, and it's the same kind of thing. It has featured. You can choose to change it to recent or popular, and we're just gonna leave it on featured. And you can also, you know, get a preview of it. That way you know if you want to download it or not before you uh, you know do download it and you can set it for like alarm or you can set it for a certain contact or something they have like re popular searches are like alarm boyfriend girlfriend um, here's different like animal sounds alternative uh, blues all kinds of different genres classics uh, contact ringtones entertainment so if we go into something like um, sayings and we'll try the best friend one here. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's my best friend calling me again. I wonder if something's wrong. This is only the 12th time. My best friends call me all day. Yeah, best friends are cool because they know when you're sleeping, they know when you're awake, they know when you're leaving the house, they know when you're happy, when you're sad. Or sister alert. So you get the idea, you can preview all of it before you download it. Uh, they do have the widgets and right now I guess it's only clock widgets that are available. And games, they offer a ton of games and you can download games and it's the same kind of thing. You can discover them, the kind of uh, genres that you want or popular searches or things like that. And they just have all kinds of different games to choose from. And it's a great alternative to the Play Store to download games. And Zedge is on my phone for that reason because it's so great. There's so much to choose from. Um, I do have the Google weather widget right here because I like to know my weather. So it's going to give me my uh, weather forecast right now. It's 45 degrees. That's 43 degrees. The high was 45. Tonight it's going to get down to 23. Guys, that's freezing cold for us around here. Um, also, you can do tomorrow and you can do your 10 day forecast. So starting to look good around Thursday back down to 50 on Friday 45 on Saturday Wow it's gonna be cold for a minute anyway I know you guys on the north northeast coast are thinking like wow he's complaining about 43 degrees and it's like 18 degrees or 5 degrees here 
and what's wrong with this guy but to us it's really cold right now so you know the that's just a Google weather app I do have Clash Royale which is a card based strategy game and it's really fun to play if you don't have this I highly recommend downloading it if you like to play games this game is super super addicting and you'll find yourself spending all kinds of time playing it but it's definitely worth the download and I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that open up my little treasure chest here see what I get nothing really great um, there are different categories of cards and it gives you daily quests to do along with free stuff daily uh, so one of my quests is to play troops 80 times in 1v1 arena battles and you can join a clan you can request cards from your clan mates which I'm going to request that right there you can upgrade your cards and let's take a look at my cards the goal is to find in those chests as many cards as possible and I have every card in the game I just recently got the newest card which is the ghost wherever he's at I'm not going to show it. but they come in different levels they all have their different strengths and their different preferences and I'll do a full review of this game um, if you want leave it in the comment section below if you want to just check it out on YouTube just search Clash of Clans gameplay and you'll be able to see it and it's, it's a really great fun game moving on I have the Play Store and of course everybody knows what the Play Store is and it's just all of the different applications you can get and everybody knows how to use this so I'm not going to go over that but the Play Store is always on my home screen here Zedge we already went over inside of my Google folder here I do have my Nova launcher settings because I didn't have anywhere else to take it I didn't want it to take up any space I wanted I liked it to look how it looks right now and then I have Chrome uh, my Google app and then my directions my maps under YouTube I have my YouTube and you'll notice my icons look different than your icons look and that's because I have the viral icon pack which is another feature that uh, Nova Launcher Prime lets you add on so my I have YouTube YouTube studio of course under gallery I have Google photos and my phone gallery and then I do have Instagram and Facebook both under social and that's basically all that I have on my home screen and if you swipe over to the right you'll see that I do have uh, Dolby Audio widget right here where I can change if I'm you know watching TV if I'm listening to music if I'm playing a game if I'm chatting back and forth Skyping with somebody and you do have two custom presets you can do and you can easily turn it on or off right there I like to leave it on if I'm listening to music of course I, I put it on music if I'm watching TV on TV and my dock down here on my dock of course I have my phone my contacts my app drawer messages and my camera it's set up the same way on all of my devices it's just how I like it and if you look at my app drawer here I do have a couple other things installed and we're going to talk about in just a second so I have B&H installed here and this is basically a very very good app and place to get um, reasonably priced electronics they offer all kinds of electronics new used refurbished and you can choose different categories like mobile pro video home entertainment computers but let's just go to mobile real quick and you can choose unlocked cell phones iPads wearable technology cell phone accessories tablets all kinds of different categories to choose from let's go with cell phone accessories no let's go back let's go to unlocked cell phones and you'll see that they have all of these different unlocked cell phones that you can choose from in different prices and they are really competitively priced guys so I suggest downloading that it is B&H video and it looks like this right there when you search for B&H in the Play Store I also have Asphalt 8 which is a pretty cool racing game although I'm not as into it as I once was um, let's see Clash of Clans is kinda like Clash Royale but more uh, detailed and it takes a whole lot more um, time to uh, build up your it's still a card based strategy game but it's completely different 
a deck shop is something that helps you set up decks for Clash Royale. I have Inbox instead of Gmail because I do prefer checking my email through Inbox instead of Gmail. They just they categorize the email so much better and if you don't know about it it's a Google app. It's Google Inbox and it's right there and you want to go to the Play Store and download that if you don't have it if you're using Gmail. Lookout Mobile Security came pre-installed on the device. I, I'm kind of glad it's here but on the same note I don't really use it all that much and then I have my different icon themes pixel art so pixel art is basically like a photo editor and you can use it to do things like create custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos and things of that nature and any of these applications that you guys see if you would like me to do like a full review on them or something let me know and I definitely will Wish is, an, uh, is like a shopping app and then of course vo voice search, visual voicemail, Wi-Fi tethering and there's the icon pack right there the viral icon pack that I'm using um, and then you know that's about it that's all that's on my ZTE Blade Z Max so guys if you made it this far go ahead and leave me look at the timestamp on the video leave the timestamp and the notifications below and you will automatically be registered to win the uh, $50 Amazon gift card that's coming up. If you like the video give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified of any content that I upload. I do try to upload daily throughout the week. On the weekends it's not so easy. But I do have some things pre-recorded and ready to be uploaded this weekend so that I can try to keep a consistent um, upload rate going. I'm trying to get that view time together and the subscribers together to not lose monetization on February 20th. And it's starting to look a lot more like we might do that. So guys, my subscribers, I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that all of you have an amazing day today and something really spectacular happens to you in a really positive way. As always guys, it's Tech Know How. Thanks for watching and I'm out.